Executive Director of the Association of Independent Publishers. Okay, thanks. <laughs> and I used to run a, a community newspaper in Grahamstown for seven years, uh, so that's my background in terms of that. The issue of sustainability is a major issue um, in terms of the um, of the small independent um, newspapers, and in particularly at the moment, in the last two or three years, it's become particularly difficult. Um, I think in terms of the MDDA, I'm trying to think of all the MDDA questions. I'm sure that they will be there to answer them later, but in terms of my experience and understanding, the MDDA has been funding people for one year, particularly for printing costs in some cases, in some cases for more than that. However, they are revisiting their policy in terms of long-term sustainability because it looks like, it seems to be that a once-off one year um, funding um, model is not necessarily the most successful. Um, so that is, uh, that is an issue that's being looked at. The other thing that the MDDA has been doing, um, I think in conjunction with some of the small-time publishers and other organizations, is to uh, negotiate uh, bulk printing costs or, or specific prices for community newspapers. It still represents one of its biggest costs. In fact, the printing costs of a, a small-time newspaper is uh, one of its major costs, in comp and then the other is, of course, staffing depending on how big, whether it's a one person's uh, operation or not. So that is a, a major issue. The uh, government advertising, it does differ from community to community, but there seems to be on a general, you might get some municipal advertising within the uh, local newspaper, depending on the relationship between the or the understanding too between the municipality and the newspaper servicing that particular community, but national and provincial advertising, very little of that appears in the local community newspapers, which uh, in my experience um, is, a, is, is problematic. I, I can uh, remember that um, the Department of Health, for example, in the Eastern Cape was holding immunization campaigns. They came to the local newspapers and said they had no advertising, please would they run free stories, which one does as a social responsibility, but it's not the way to go. What one needs is a full, t full page ad indicating exactly when the clinic is open, which immunizations, what needs to be brought, when and why, and therefore, and those are the kinds of things that would be really great to see in those community newspapers, not only for the sustainability of those newspapers to reach the very people that, that need to be reached in terms of those immunization campaigns. So very little national and provincial and district uh, advertising, uh, government advertising goes into the local, uh, into the independent publishers. Um, is that, and everything that I needed to ask in terms of that. Um, Nash, the other times, okay, just in terms of the long-term sustainability of a paper, and this happens to whether a paper is 140 years old or a six-month newspaper that has just been started out and supported by the MBBA. Long-term sustainability is an issue, and it continues to be an issue, particularly in the present times. It's very difficult for the sector to get national advertising from the retail businesses and people like that, I think often because of the, 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 the larger media and advertising landscape doesn't understand the sector and doesn't understand what its figures look like and what it can do and whom it reaches. Often uh, the discussion is about living standard measures, which is valid, I suppose, but when you're develop working within a particular geographical community, you are servicing everybody in that community from the poorest of the poor to the richest of the rich. So your LSM is 1 to 10. The same thing is, uh, uh, is also true when you're looking at a community of language or a community of interest. So, for example, possibly the whole Muslim community reads, reads a particular Muslim newspaper. It doesn't matter what, what their, their LSM in is. So uh, it's very difficult to get government, uh, district, uh, national and provincial government advertising for these small newspapers. It's also very difficult to get the normal retail advertising. Um, and they're, they're, um, as the movement of, of other uh, media organizations into this particular field grows, it's become more difficult because it is difficult to kind of match advertising rates um, and, and things like that. The other thing about the printing is that there are very few independent published printing organizations out there. 
Um, and so we rely again on the main media houses. As I say, say, there have been some very positive developments in terms of negotiations around prices, but it is it is a difficulty again that you are, are, are not caught, but that you, the, the only places that you can go to are, are, are people that you aren't <coughs> working in competition with, or see themselves as working in competition with you, or. Um, yeah, it's it's little choice. For example, in the Pomalanga, there is one, only one printing organisation one can go to, uh, and in Bloemfontein, it's just, in the Free State, it's true of that as well. Um, okay, uh, well, I think that I have dealt with some of the questions around sustainability. Um, if what would you what I would what would I like to see? I think that I've indicated that the uh, independent publishers would like to see more government advertising and support such as that going. Uh, it's not support; it's actually using the papers to reach the very people that the government advertising should be reaching. So it's not about support; it's about using a product that is out there um, and 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 reaching the very people that you want to reach. Reach. Um, the electronic media, I think this is one of the, the big reasons why community or independent grassroots newspapers are, are important because they reach the very people that do not have access to electronic media or to such opportunities. Um, I also think that this is the only place in the independent grassroots media, it's the only place where you can get your, your hyper-local news, where you can find out about what your community is up to and what it is doing. Because these independent newspapers do, that's what they deal with, that is what they report on. You can get your provincial and your, and your national news and your international news on radio and, and, and TV and in the national and provincial newspapers, but there's only the local newspaper in which you can get your local news. Um, and it's that which makes them still so, um, uh, in, so, so in demand. Um, I know that various newspapers are working on, say, websites and things like that. They might be setting up uh, com uh, communication centers in within, their own co in within their own newspapers where people can access the internet. If, I don't know that it's necessarily their um, particular uh, brief to provide internet access to communities. But there, I know several newspapers which do work in, in connection with um, such organizations to try and, and provide that. I think one of the most successful ways forward, <coughs> given the use of cell phones in this country, is to connect news, in, uh, local independent newspapers, hyperlocal news, with Moby sites. Um, can you imagine the kind of success of, a, of an immunization campaign that has a, an, um, an advert, a full page advert in a local newspaper and then on top of that it's sent out over the, the, the telephone through a Bobi site to everyone that is, 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 is affected. So those are the kinds of things I think that can be done. Um, yeah, yeah, I think that, it is, that those are the kinds of things that can be done. That, um, we need to look at reaching the right people through the right media, or reaching the people that need to be met through the right media, um, and in the right languages, and in the right spaces. Follow up. Oh no, it's fine. No, Sorry, no. I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm the question on the uh, woman. Uh, the woman. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 Honorable Trochen, uh, I've seen your hand. Uh, and I noted you, uh, Madame Killen and uh, Honorable Van der uh, Yes, thank you, Chair. I don't know what makes Honorable Van der Berg honorable in me a madam, but uh, <laughs> be that as it may. This is my title, I'm Chairperson.